One knows how to get it done on the ground with his grappling. The other guy usually lets his fist do the talking. Matsu currently riding high on the confidence of a two-fight win streak. And you wonder just how long it would take Jason to initiate the clinch here, work for the takedown. Simultaneous kicks there for both fighters. One thing I love about Duclos is his all-action style. Yeah, and hard. he's almost at his most dangerous when he's a little bit rocked. Mm. When his opponents come rushing in, I mean, he just counters with something fantastic. I mean, look at his fight against Giorgio Ignatashvili, uh, Matthias Ruklo. There's the first takedown attempt, trying to get in on the leg. Potential to take the back here. Or yeah. get his back taken. Nice work for the Dagestani handcuff. These shots are legal. Yeah, you needs see. to roll, needs to do something to get out of this position. Duclo really picking his shots very wisely to ensure that they are legal, so that's a great point there, Phil. As long as some point of the glove is making contact with the ear on the strike, it is perfectly legal. Think of almost like the Chuck Liddell mohawk running down the back of the head. Yeah. Not oh. a big shot. And how loose is Duclo in there? You can see it's almost like spar it's almost like a sparring mentality. Staying oh, yeah. so loose. Switching stances. Question mark kick landed flush. Moreno needs to do something definitive here. He cannot stay with his back against the cage and eat shots. He's not setting the takedowns up. Needs to set them up. If you're shooting in blind, you're essentially it's like a cheat code for your opponent. You're telegraphing yeah. the takedown. And there is no way that Duclo is going to jump inside that guard right now. Oh, absolutely not. He is looking so good on the feet. Just cool as a cucumber. So he might as well just chip away at his opponent's legs here a little bit. <laughs> Hammer fist to the foot. <laughs> That's ridiculous. just feel that the longer the fight stays in this kind of realm, the more likely it is that Moreno's going to eat something big. Yeah, absolutely. We know that Duclo packs big power. Oh, oh, he hurt the leg big time. Look at this stance. Works to the body. Again, telegraph takedown. And if you're Duclo, you just stand right back up out of there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Moreno fighting with desperation right now. Nothing's really working for him. And Duclo, I mean, he just looks so calm. Not a care in the world right now. Ironically, the, the king of the dead is getting killed here in the cage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it took him a while to get up there as well. He's taking big deep breaths here. That body kick might have been the one that did a lot of damage. Moreno looks like he does not want to be there. Oh, absolutely. Everything in his body language is telling him that he's having a bad time. All of his movements are labored, they're slow, sloppy. Oh, big shot! Another blind takedown, and his feet are flatter than a bottle of Coca-Cola that's been left on the window ledge all day. Oh, uh, and it looks like... He's got, I think he's, as he motioning to, he's looking at the referee. Moreno he doesn't, want it. He he doesn't want it. He's done. That's it. He's done. Wow! Another big TKO victory from a hometown favorite, Mathieu Leto Duclos. That was essentially a mercy stoppage. Yeah, by it really the was. referee. After the first big shot landed, Moreno did not want anything from Duclos there. No, this is Hexagon. <laughs> That's right, that is a that is a promotion we're working for. Parfaitement géré. Vous étiez extrêmement concentré du début jusqu'à la fin. Toujours concentré, toujours concentré. Toujours concentré, il voulait de la violence, on en a donné Mathieu, troisième combat Hexagon MMA, troisième victoire. Comment vous imaginez la suite désormais Franchement, je sais pas. Non, je vais voir avec le boss, Jérôme. Je pense qu'on va voir, moi, la ceinture m'intéresse. Je pense que j'ai les capacités pour la prendre. Trois combats, trois KO, trois finishes, on est une team de finisseurs. Un gros merci à mon équipe, les teams Voirin. Daniel Voirin, meilleur coach de France, c'est évident, plus gros CV. Wouh
Alors là, un grand merci à toute l'équipe, toutes les équipes, Benoît, Juric, Romain, tout, tous les gars qui m'entourent, toute ma famille qui me soutiennent, c'est pour eux que je fais ça. Et il y a un autre truc qui me, qui me titille. Vous avez vu là, on est dans le ring, on a, on a Ibra TV là, non Et ben, <rire> moi je dis, dans le ring, il paraît pas mal avec sa nouvelle barbe. Moi je le verrais bien combattre ici. Vous en pensez quoi Voilà C'est tout. Enfin, faites du bruit pour Mathieu Leto du Clos